Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Let's do a paradox run. And also, we have to hunt shroomers. 30 of them is our current hunting quest. And if you don't know, shroomers are cowboy bulletkins. Yo, Tetris gun. What the hell's a cowboy bulletkin? Okay, well, I know what our passive is. Cowboy bulletkin is the Bulletkins that have the explosive head, uh, and they fire two bullets in a V shape. That's the cowboy bulletkin. I prefer to call them that, anyways. Juniper, thank you very much for the cheer and the resub or the subscription as well. I've been a saving grace. I've not subbed to the Twitch until now. And you've gotten me. You've gotten me back my first platinum game, which is Gungeon. Thank you for the effort. Are you saying you have come back to the game after watching me stream it and then you have, oh, it's so close to being at the beginning of the run. <laughs> you have now platinum it? Or you just have platinum this in the past. Either way, Gungeon is a, it's a beast of a game. It's the game that keeps on giving. And thank you very much, by the way. We're just talking about Jupiter. I like space. I wish I had a telescope. I do. You know what? I like bug boots because if, when we find the water room, I can just dodge roll. I don't have to actually worry about the water barrels. That's a very nice little thing to have here. I've gotten back into it after having platinum it about two years ago and not playing it. Ah! You say platinum, so I assume, Juniper, that you mean you're playing Gungeon on the PlayStation. That's my assumption there. You will pry this keyboard out of my cold, dead hands, though. I played a, played a little bit of Scourgebringer yesterday. That's a game that I'll definitely use a controller on. Gungeon for me is all about that keyboard and mouse being able to, yeah, 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 Tetris gun, yeah. XZZ XZ2 asks, asks, do we know when Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out? Bard of Bobbert says February 2023. Four months? October, it's like mid-October right now. November, December, January, February. Four months. Dude, honestly, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for a um, Darkest Dungeon 2 finally. Then we can stop talking about it and start playing it. But I'll be going into it fresh, not having looked at it at all in its early access state. It's not only for my own enjoyment, it's for your enjoyment as well, because I want to be able to go into the game without having spoiled myself. And you can get my first impressions as well as your own first impressions if you haven't seen it. Juniper says, I have a phone app that tracks achievements on Steam. That's where the platinum is for me. Ah, that's why I say platinum. It is kind of funny that you can, you can guess people's uh, preferred platform of choice. Is it achievements? Is it trophies? Is it platinum? What is, what is it in Xbox land? <laughs> it's gamer points? Yo, man, what's your gamer point score? Yo, dog. <laughs> I just maxed out the gamer points in Gungeon. Yo, sick. They sound sick. <laughs> Yo, A key, 47. Let's open up all the chests for the whole game. And then I'll have like one chest that some for some reason I accidentally break and it's gonna, oh. Wait, what? This was, did we not? Get this on the last run? Why is it in the chest now? This seems this seems very unusual. Why why are we getting the same item that we had last run? Did we not have Did we not have the uh the 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 uh, what's what's his name? Transformation last run? Not Gun Knight Man. Cormorant. Cormorant transformation. There we go. So why the heck are we getting the items from the chests? I don't know. 
Oh my god. Well, you know what? Last run I got hit on the first four boss as well, so, you know. <laughs> Let's not put too much stock into getting hit on one of the easier boss fights you can have here. Embarrassed? Yes. Do I care? Not really. I've got the AQ47. I'll be fine. You just say 100% for the Xbox. <laughs> Yo, dog, did you 100% Gungeon? Yeah, man. Cool, bro. I don't know why everyone's a surf stoner, but, you know, to each their own. Why don't we... Didn't we have Casey yesterday as well? I don't know what the hell's going on. I'll take the ballot, I'll take Casey, I will take the AK-47. I mean, we've got a, a pretty sick combination of guns and items here. Let's go. Down to the next floor. Aranistan, welcome. How you doing today? I was gonna talk about things before I started this Gungeon run, and now that I've started the run, my mind has kind of gone blank. I, I, I've forgotten all the different things that I was gonna bring up and talk about. I don't, I don't know why. Was, was there like a... A, a comment that I was gonna look up as well. Gatorbot just says, I took my daughter camping with a cheap telescope. It was a great experience. I like telescopes, I like space. I don't remember what, oh, you know, I remember one thing I was gonna talk about, which is something that you will not care about at all and has no impact at all on the run. Yo, tactical damage. Um. I was gonna say that my uh, housemate yesterday set up a bit of a bonfire outside. Very small one. I, I guess he just wanted to like roast some hot dogs or something. But uh, as a result, now everything just smells like smoke. So as I'm playing this Gungeon run, I'm like, what's burning? <laughs> it's a delightful, you know, scent. But now I feel like I've gotta do laundry. There's so much, uh... There's so much just kind of like hanging, hanging in the air. X says the Bayonetta thing. <laughs> you wanna talk gaming news? All right. This just in. No, wait, no, that's a Mega Man theme song. One of them anyways, I forget which one. I forget which Robot Master that one is. No, that's um, that's Mission Select, isn't it? Yeah, it is, because it's like a four second long clip that just repeats. Anyways, this just in. Voice actress, who voice actress Bayonetta chose not to accept the role because she wanted more money. And that's all for gaming news. I mean, there is some news there. The question is always, you know, what, uh, how much is is it worth to the company that makes, makes the game, which I forget which one it is, to have the same voice actress. You know, she can always just ask for more money. They're not obligated to pay her and she's not obligated to take it for whatever price they offered her. That's just the free market, baby. Oh, I really want to kill enemies with dynamite more often, but they push too far. Bubonic Lettuce says, from what I've seen, I personally don't like Darkest Dungeon 2. The art style trans... I don't think the art style translates well into 3D. I don't really like the relationship and token systems. Game seems underwhelming. I mean, that's all stuff that I have absolutely no input on at all because I haven't really seen or played the, play the game. I don't know what's gonna change in EA. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And uh, all I can say is I hope it does play well when it comes out. I imagine, you know, some things are gonna be reworked and changed before the release. Maybe the, uh, you know, 
intrapersonal relationship system doesn't quite work, but maybe they'll adjust it, or maybe uh, it'll grow on you, or maybe it's just gonna be garbage, and they'll change it, you know, four months after release. We completely redid it after enhanced feedback from uh, the release of the game. We'll do that all the damn time. Sherbert says their final offer for her was like 4,000 bucks for the whole game. I, I've, I heard the same thing, but here's my question, okay? How much voice work is it? Is she saying five lines or is she saying 5,000 lines? You know, what what is her, what is this gonna end up being hourly for her, first of all? Second of all, they clearly don't expect her performance to be that impactful for the game if they're uh, only offering her 4,000 to do the voice work. But the real question is, What is the normal price for voice actors? How many lines is she actually saying? What's her time worth? There's a lot. There's a there's a lot to to gather from just the phrase. They only offered her four thousand. Okay. Well, what's the normal going rate? How? What is her actual like impact into the game? Her character. Her her voice. You need a lot more information to really actually get a, a, a deeper opinion. She was getting 3K for the role, same as past games. After the complaint, they offered 4K. So, so, 3,000's enough, but 4,000 isn't? I'm, I'm not, I, either way, I'm not trying to like take a stance on the the news worthiness of it or her refusal to to take the gig for you know four grand to voice bayonetta what i'm saying is i don't know enough about it to actually make a uh, a reasoned opinion one way or another and as someone who doesn't look i say this with a lot of games i've never played bayonetta i really have no horse in the race I still think it would be fun one of these days to actually um, go through and play some of these very iconic games that I've never played myself. We could do Bayonetta, we could do, uh, I don't know, we could do Final Fantasy. Look, hot take, I think Final Fantasy games are a little bit overrated and I only know of like four of them. I know someone of significant note dies in number seven. I know that in uh, number, 12 was the first game to have the combat system not be turn-based. Uh, 13 had the one that was set with like really brown textures everywhere and a lady named Lightning. One of either 14 and 15 are MMOs, which apparently people didn't really like that much. And then the other one, 15 or 14, uh, it was just a bunch of dudes driving around in a car. Now how that fits in a fantasy world, I don't know, but I guess it is Final Fantasy, not, you know, classical medieval fantasy. So what do I know? <laughs> but there you go, that's my, that is my knowledge of Final Fantasy games. <laughs> oh. X2 says, standard for voiceover work is usually about 250 hours, sorry, $250 an hour for four hours a day. So about a thousand a day. That's about four days of lines. I mean, if, if, if that's, if that's all she's working, you know, I'll, dude, I would love to make a thousand dollars a day streaming. <laughs> but it's much more difficult on their voices than they're professionally trained. Hey, I'm professionally trained in the art of making these dodges, okay? They say it takes 10,000 hours to be a, pro a professional at something, to learn a new skill. I'm like a third of the way there. In, in just Gungeon. <laughs> Where did my life go? 250 is kind of crappy. I guess like, I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things where it's like, dude, 250 bucks an hour is pretty good, even if you are, you know, working yourself hard. 
requires yelling and all sorts. I mean, I imagine they're not gonna be, I imagine a voice actor is not going to be, why did I not open the chest? Working eight hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah, that would destroy your voice, but, you know, four hours a day doing some lines and then, you know, uh, you go back to the office and you do some like, uh, you know, Care Bear sing-alongs. You'd be the voice of Barney in the new Barney video game. I love you. You love me. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, the damn dirty bulletkin? Hello. Yeah, I don't really have a, a horse in the race, one way or another, and I can't really put a lot of input into it because I've never done professional voice acting work. By the way, if you're interested in cheap professional voice acting work, why? Have I got a deal for you? I can't do voices, and sometimes my voice cracks, and sometimes I flub the lines, but that's what you pay for. You get what you pay for. <laughs> for the low, low price of a cheeseburger and french fries. This could be yours. That didn't damage you, huh? Well, isn't that annoying? Crest shield? Yeah, you know, why not just, uh... Oh, ah! We'll just use the, uh, the old crest as uh, a very good reason not to get hit on this boss fight. Part of Barbara says it's the kind of thing where hourly doesn't translate well. So I, I actually can completely believe that. You know, you because you're probably reading, uh, you know, biographies of the characters. You're not just going in, sitting down, and reading lines. You're doing research. You're trying to figure out a voice. You know, you're you're gonna be like probably in meetings beforehand, being like, okay, this is what we're gonna want from you. This is the style that we're gonna want from your voices and whatnot. So sure. Absolutely, I can see uh, it taking longer than the stated hours. But again, it's like, well, I don't really have a horse in that race. Seems Sega owns Bayonetta and Nintendo paid to make the game, then pays Platinum Games to develop the game. Arcatraz says, I've heard bloopers of very pro voice actors botching lines. Still a good deal. <laughs> I promise not to bloop it in the same way twice. What was it? Um... Oh my God. It was uh, the Mario game, right? Everyone was like, why are you paying... Jack Black and Marvel guy to be your voice actors when you could hire professional voice actors like the guy who voiced Mario for 40 goddamn years. <laughs> the guy who said he will die as Mario. Chris Pratt, thank you. To be fair, they really should be hiring professional voice actors. But I, I, en I enjoyed the Jack Black Bowser. The Mario, you know, they're going for a less overtly Italian stereotype, surely. But, like Italian Brooklyn stereotype. It, it kind of, maybe I just, I, I've got too much Super Mario Brothers, the movie in my mind. But, um, I didn't mind the Mario. I didn't think it was bad. It didn't really sound Mario-esque, but we only heard him for like two lines, you know? Just pay a random Italian dude to do it better. Hey, Mamma Mia! I'm a Mario, it's a me, a Mario! Hey! A Bowser, what the hell are you doing? Why do I put up with your shit?
And then you've got your classic Waluigi. Waluigi. I don't know why Waluigi just goes wah. Wah, Waluigi. Then I would I would do a Luigi. I don't know what the F Luigi even sounds like. He's just a guy. Hey Mario, what's up? And then you've got Toad. <clears throat> Hold on, I have to cough and, and prepare my voice for this one. <clears throat> I'm the best! That was a very bad Toad. And then you've got Yoshi. Oh no. I don't. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna say That's that's Kazooie. <laughs> Wrong video game, wrong company. Get out of here. Ugh. Sherbert says, I love the voice of Mario in Bowser's inside story. Basically just Italian sounded, sounding gibberish. So like that, um, that one Italian musician who wrote an American song that was just gibberish. I actually, I'm very bad at just creating gibberish, apparently, out of thin air. <laughs> I forget the name of the song. It's, uh, it's gibberish. <laughs> Luigi is just nasal Mario. It's a me, a Luigi. Hey, I'm a Mario, except I'm a Luigi. And I've got a little bit of a nasalness going on here. Because that's a little, probably a little bit too nasally. Because now I just sound like I'm sick. Oh God. It's a me, a Luigi. I can't tell how it sounds because I just hear my own nasal reverberations. <laughs> I can't hear anything except for that. Shop grub. You know, I'm gonna buy the map. Because as soon as we find Alburn, we're gonna get an infinite ammo gun. And I just want to make sure I grab it. You're not gonna hear that out of me too often, but on the off chance that I could get like a, um, a duct tape or just like some cool combination with it. Now that I know that you can duct tape with that infinite ammo gun, I will do it. Lombardo Bobrich says, I, I can't look for a second. Ugh. Ugh. I, I know that's the right name for it, even though I still can't pronounce it. Ah! I want to try to avoid taking damage here. Prison, prison, colon, let's go, soul by Adriano Celentano. Sounds about right. <laughs> ah, yes, of course, that's the one. Pensacol. Uh, anyways, what are we talking about? Voice actresses and actors? Yeah, just hire the professionals. And if you don't want to work for Bayonetta for 4,000, hey, you know, that's uh, why you can say no. Find yourself a better gig. Yoink. Yoink. How does this work? We break the chest. We get lies. We get the infinite ammo gun. Okay. I just, I, I had to remind myself. I don't take that that often. It's a banger, says Bart of Bobridge. I, I, I actually didn't, I, I don't know, because I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Why don't we? Go fight this boss, and I don't know, we'll use the infinite ammo guns while we have it, right? I used a blank just a split second too late though. Rip, rip flawless, Gungeon guy gets hit on old king. This guy can't even no hit flawless in this guy. Oh, this boss fight, oh, this just a reskin of the first boss fight. Lazy dodge roll game developers. Can't make anything interesting.
What, no KC on the old king? I'm gonna be honest, I literally just forgot. <laughs> literally just forgot about it. No KC on the old king. Is this even Abe? Look, I screw it up half the time anyways. Like I hit the chancellor with the, the handle of the baseball bat and all of a sudden it doesn't actually do any damage. It, like it doesn't ricochet him because there's no knockback. Yo, Jolter's very good. Oh yeah, totally Abe then. Messing it up, totally Abe. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't know, I'm okay getting the shock rub and then do we wanna like get rid of any guns? Kind of. It's ironic that we have the RPG now on this run where last run it would have been even better because last run is when we had the cool synergy. Not like I'm bitter or anything. We'll move on. All right, I need a I need a new topic of conversation. <laughs> there was a purple shotgunner in here on the last run, which cost me something, something dearly, my life. How about we talk about the upcoming election cycle? No. How about we talk about? Facebook meta <laughs> and, and the, uh, oh God, the metaverse. Oh Lord. Look, I'm still, I'm still a bit bitter about Oculus selling out to Facebook to begin with. Why would I, why would I ever want to use VR? That'll just track everything that I do and then try to sell me ads. Or why would I want to work in an office that's like, okay, everybody, we're gonna have our meeting. Everyone grab your VR headset so we can meet in the virtual workspace. Yeah, no, I think I'm good. People don't even want to like turn their cameras on when they're at work. Why would you think people will want to hang out in a VR workspace? What is wrong with you? I just realized after seeing the Shelaton, I have no idea how many enemies we've killed with for the hunting quest. I don't know how many shroomers I've killed. I don't know, have I even seen any of them? I have not been paying attention, clearly. Yo, table tech blank, that's a great item. You wanna see your workers' personas. No, for that, you need to go to VR chat. Multiverse is not gonna have any of that nonsense. You can't be creative in the multiverse. You can start living in a box, though. Living in a box down by the river! lucky to find yourself living in a box down by the river. I have an amulet. Let's go. Freaking flip all the tables then. Screw you, buddy. Okay, I, I do love bouncing bullets with my dodge roll uh, cat throne. Oh, why did it not hit it? Why did it not kill him? Ah. Which one's the real one? You. Hey, let's not forget. I've got the rat key. We can go and fight the rat on this one. Why would I actually choose to go fight the rat? I don't know. It's fun. Every once in a while. I'm hoping that maybe I can find duct tape and get an infinite ammo super weapon of some variety. You got a problem with that? Oh, dude. Does this work with the jolter? 
It does. Oh, and it bounces too. Yo, that's a that's a real good synergy. Milk Jug, welcome. How's it going? I have lots of problems with that. They say lots of problems with what? Living in a box down by the river. <laughs> Every. I'm sorry to say this, Milk Jug. Every time I see you, I think to myself, I should play Darkwood. You, you've asked and begged for so long. Your presence has become synonymous with me playing that specific game that I really should play at some point because I actually own it now. Wow. Lol. Ignart, hello. How's it going? Is this, is this. From the Game Pass? No, it's on, um, it was on the Epic Game Store for free. Probably still is. This is gonna be a very quick fight, but that's why we're using, uh, you know, infinite ammo cheat gun. Game Pass, Epic Store, same thing. Ooh, rough. Ouch. Don't worry about the base. This is the first time I'm able to actually look at the projectile from this gun, and it's a pot. You fire pots. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I always thought it was like an energy ball but it's a big red pot <laughs> that then fires these like glass shards. All right, I can dig it. Now, dude, we don't need money. So let's get the heck out of here. I, I just never like paid attention, I guess. The gun is called the kiln. Yes, however, wouldn't the pots be too fragile to even be shot out of the gun in the first place, okay? Abe is not a smart man sometimes. Excuse me, I'm right here. <clears throat> what is my, uh, what is my, my pattern? Up, up, right, right. Down up. Let's remember. Remember, remember. The pattern of save file B. Where the deathless run is still going on. Can I freeze you open? Yes, I can. You can't stun them open. That, that's the thing. I'm with you. I thought they were energy balls too. Because when, when the shots are small, and they're traveling fast, they're hard to see, but I have bigger shots that are slower. So it's a lot easier to parse what the hell's happening. Right, right. I mean, dude, this should just be our gun. Infinite ammo, heavy bullets, homing beam. The lack of realism from the kiln is really ruining my immersion, says Mud. <laughs> But apparently, uh, flying on a cat throne is perfectly acceptable to him. Yeah, like I believe that for a second, buddy. Buster! Buster, old pal. Buddy, are you? Hold on. Pretty sure that'll save me. Yo, be careful. Yo, poke someone's eye out! Ah, oh, it didn't save me. Guys. The shield didn't save me. Wow. 
Kiln's a warm, warmth is energy, therefore it makes sense to shoot energy. I mean, really? Kilns are just kinetic energy, and heat is really just an expression of kinetic energy. Therefore, energy, or kilns are energy. Kilns are heat, and heat is energy. Therefore, the gun shoots energy. Boom, done. I really love the just covering the screen and bouncing bullets. Do I have a gun that's like really obnoxious with the bouncing bullets? I don't know, maybe. What the heck, what the heck would uh, Shot Grub do here? That's not actually really that annoying at all. Which makes it a really bad example. level mental gymnastics. <laughs> Shame no one's gonna actually be watching the next Olympics, right? Surely they're all gonna be boycotted by every, uh, you know, triple A uh, news organization and sports group, right? That says, sounds like clay. My housemate um, pulled up a bunch of his old, like, clay bricks from the basement. And, um... He says he wants to, like, work on the... path leading from the driveway to the house. Because it's just got tree roots in it. You need someone to, like, come out and, like, rip up the tree roots or something. be like a future project. Stop hitting me! I'm not paying attention to the fight like at all. This guy did like five attacks from the back of the mech and the eyes didn't work. The eye trick, it failed me. It failed me this once. Ah, what do I care? We don't want grappling hook, do we? I think I want to keep the big boy. Ladera says, I've never seen you lose the punch out before. There's a first time for everything, isn't there, buddy old pal? Uh, blank. Can't we do this without even opening up any of them? One. Two. Three. What else do we want to dump? Dump this. Although this doesn't get thrown. Does it? Not really. I need I need one more item to get through there. Um what can I what can I drop? What would what would be thrown at a distance? Would the HP be thrown? No, it just drops. Would the, would the gun knight be thrown? Would this be thrown? Would this be thrown? You know, let's see if we can get it through uh, regardless. Hold on, no, get through. Oh, 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 hey! Oh, wait! Got it. Da -da -da. Anyways, there's a little cheat if you've, uh, if you need, if you don't have enough keys, you can use that little trick. I'm still gonna keep the big boy, though. What did I use? Oh my lord, use this? Sure, why not? Meow. I'm looking for a gun. I'll take this gun. Sorry, I just kind of lost myself there for a minute. Where's the next Olympic supposed to be? Asks Gladair. Milk Jug says Paris. Thought it was in Qatar and it's in a month. <laughs> but maybe, maybe uh, the next one is gonna be in Paris? Sorry, Paris? Get 
can't believe I killed an enemy with the freaking dynamite, but I did also hit him with a baseball bat. You know what? 2024, Perry. Perry. When the moon hits your eye like the discus does fly, that's Olympics. Why are people boycotting? Well, I, the idea is, um, someone thought it would be a bright idea to hold the Summer Olympics in one of the hottest places in the world. And also the, uh, the bidding for hosting these Summer Olympics also resulted in significant like fraud investigation and charges as a result of like the Olympics management group that uh, didn't result in would be a good good phrase uh, un -in invitations to the uh, to the hosting state to host it a loss of their privilege check your privilege just bring some ice water. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Just, you know, pant like a dog. That's how they cool themselves down. <laughs> Dogs and your mom. Your mama. Hey, Abe, you know Amori. Is that the is that the video game where you like you draw with the Nintendo Wii stylus to cast spells? How close am I? <laughs> I do love just having an infinite beam. Makes it a lot of fun, because I don't actually have to aim. I just, you know, shoot, reload, and then just, you know, keep walking. Mr. Gazar says, kinda close. How close is kinda? Yeah, we gotta be careful about doing that, because I might break a chest. 68 inch says, oh no, I think I like Dota again. <laughs> you, you stopped? Did I did I run into a bullet? What happened? I have literally no idea what caused that blank. Oh, that was that was probably the kiln. Don't worry about it, or don't don't worry about the pots or whatever the hell it was called. Oh, by the laser sight. We do we have the pistol? Probably not. We got the RPG though. I'm still a little weirded out about the fact that we even picked up the um, the boots. But you know what it could be? It could be that the boots are actually just like a um, a repeatable. Passive item? I didn't realize you could get those, but I thought that was only active items out of chests, but maybe there's repeatable passive items as well. And what I mean by repeatable is that there are certain items that even if you find them in a chest, you can still find them in chests in the same run, like flashbang, decoy, smoke bomb. Weirdly, a lot of, uh, I know of a lot of blue level ones, like blue quality ones, because those are the ones that show up often. I could probably do this faster with another gun, but like, I like this gun. Oh! Science cannon and no duct tape. 
I would like to suggest to the game that I am a little bit disappointed that I'm not picking up any duct tape. Whoa, Jesus. I would very much like to have found some duct tape so I could duct tape some guns onto my duct tape. We don't need it, don't need it, don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. Don't need it, 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 don't need it. Don't need this, that's for damn certain. Don't need this, don't need this. Also, we got the flame hand. Did we Did we also not get the flame hand on the last run? What? What's happening? What in Sam Hill's name is happening? That's a phrase, right? What in Sam, Sam Hill, Sam Hill's name? Sam's Hill name? Or am I misremembering it? Is it Sam Neal's name? Who is Sam Hill? Welcome to Abe Clancy Plays Enter the Gungeon, where he's confused about old-fashioned phrases. <laughs> Who the heck is Sam Neal? Sam Hill, I should say. Our investigation continues more at 11. Who is this mysterious Sam Hill? Game is just pretending that the green flame green flame thing didn't happen. Ah, uh, I, I probably still underrate it. I don't want to rate it any high any more highly though. Should have saved my my big boy. Big who's a big boy? Sorry, I'll never say that ever again until tomorrow. That's probably a pot. I still love just being able to walk into a room, press the fire button, and have everything to start dying. I don't even have to freaking aim. There's guesses as to Sam Hill's origin, but nothing concrete. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Only Sam Hill knows. And he ain't talking, buddy. By the way, you bother some insect? Wait, can't I get you to the top of the screen and then you can't shoot? Apparently neither can I. He can shoot. I'll kill you. Then I gotta have a better gun. I mean, that'll work. Hey. You Pew. He always talks before he does that attack. That's how you. That's how you know it's gonna come out. Maybe he doesn't always talk before he does that attack. Yeah, definitely not. All right, you know, I thought I was onto something for a second there. Apparently I wasn't. Some, you know, sometimes people can be wrong. Eat this, he says as his bullets hit uh, the sky behind him and then don't do anything. Is it ironic that I used a, used a nuke to kill him? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Get me out of here. Architraz says enemies having voice lines in Gungeon is still super weird to me. Is he only enemy? Well, no. Is he the only enemy that has a voice line? Like, Agnumen, in the bullet past, he doesn't have a voice line, does he? He just talks a lot. 
Oops, I didn't see you. He might be annoying, but he definitely doesn't speak. Don't speak! You're just supposed to stand there. I don't know, why am I so musical today? I did have like a pastry for lunch. Maybe that uh, that like sugar frosting. It's a shroomer is starting to like get to me a little bit. Instead of coffee it, for the gungeon, I instead had a, a pastry for lunch. Are you all hopped up on sugar, Abe, says Milk Jug. Well, I know how long my uh, Twitch delay is. Sugar rush followed by, in 15 minutes, a sugar crash. Well, <laughs> if that happens, I'm gonna have to go get either another pastry or a freaking cup of coffee. <laughs> Yo, it's the synergy that I like. One of the synergies that I like. I mean, how can you say no to this? Running out of ammo in, the, in one second and then having to reload. Just a second, I gotta reload my gun. And you know what, with bouncing bullets. We don't have um, scattershot synergy, which is uh, super pretty lasers. Plus two charisma Danish. It was not a Danish. Guess again. <laughs> it's a shroomer. Oh, 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 can't hit what you can't see. Now all we need, I don't need to worry about you summoning anymore, you freaking jerk. All we need is like another 18 more shroomers in bullet hell and maybe we can do the quest in like one run. Cause shroomers are like real freaking common. They're bad enemies, they suck, and yet they're super freaking common. Which is weird that they show up like late in the game. Oh my. What does this synergize with? Ruby Carbine. That's pretty acceptable. But we also have a little bit of that. A little bit of bonus damage on my my freaky deaky laser and I'm out of ammo <laughs> it does burn through ammo so damn fast but it's fun I wonder if this gets the uh, Kaga battle bonus Hello. Hello. Oh! Hello. You know what? I got the gun for a reason, right? Hello. <laughs> I didn't expect there to be a thing there. I expected the enemy to be dead. This is another RPG synergy. So, so it's like it homes in and then when it hits a wall, it explodes into extra RPG shots that also home in. Like homing flak shots, basically. It doesn't seem that bad. It does turn it into a way more like usable weapon. Although it is still extremely heavy, heavily limited by its uh, rate of fire. 
which is once in a million gosh darn years. All right, let's get the show on the road. Wow, we still have not found the boss, huh? I would have thought we would have been there. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Mamma mia. It's a dragon made, it, made out of bullets. Why did I not bring a gun with me? Oh no. Oh. Hey, I'd rather be Mario's voice actor than Link's voice actor. That's all I'm saying. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't give that many uh, different hoo-yahs. do you think that you're doing, Bowser? Now I'm, I'm like focusing on the fight while also trying to make a joke. It doesn't quite work that well. Later says, wow! Wah! Mamma mia! I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I got hit and use the blank. I love that about Gungeon. Favorite thing. Can you fire backwards? Oh, pretty much, yeah. You can fire anywhere. Apparently this is just the run of cheesing like everything in the whole damn game. Cheese the the rat, cheese the dragon fight. The only thing I don't have is actually, the, you know, the cheese. I got rid of it, I said no, I don't want your cheese. I don't want your stinky cheese. Life Savage 2010, welcome. Savage, welcome to the stream. Uh, 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 that is, no, I keep, why do I keep defaulting to freaking Count Chocula or Count Dracula or whatever the count is? Count Sesame Street. Why do I keep defaulting to Count Sesame Street? <laughs> turning, turning it into a vampire Mario. Bruh. I want to suck your mushroom. Ah, ah, ah. Just the count. <laughs> Look, I never watched Sesame Street. Unlike you nerds. Just the count because he counts. You want to know something, Bubonic Lettuce? I absolutely knew that, but I'm sure that some people out there didn't. He's the count because he counts. <gasps> it's a pun. I'm so punny. You want to know something else? Cookie Monster. He loves it. Cookies! <gasps> Did I blow your freaking mind? Schoolhouse Rock Schoolhouse Rocks is where it was at for us nerds, says Architraz. 
Yeah, but do you know the legislative process for bills? Which all begins with the most precious of the United States uh, uh, institutions. That of legalized bribery, AKA lobbying. <laughs> A, begin for, a, a bill first begins when a lobbyist pays a member of Congress money for no reason at all. On paper, anyways. deal with mages. Get out of here, you freaking dumb mages. You know what I could use? Freaking ammo. All of my good guns are out of ammo, except for all the good infinite ammo weapons that I have, which is, well, really one. I don't know why I thought the AK was infinite ammo. I guess it is when you have the synergy for it. I want a guesstimation from chat. How many shroomers do you think I killed on this run? I gotta be honest, I think I only killed like three, which is a very huge disappointment. I don't remember them in the run though. Like I don't remember finding a lot of them in any flo individual floor. So I'm a little worried that we're gonna, you know, be doing this hunting quest for a hundred years. What's the current quest? It's Shroomers, AKA Cowboy Bulletkins. I will full clear the floor though. Cause I'm pretty sure we'll um, have a decent chance of finding more. Out of ammo, okay, well, back to the A key, I guess. I think I've seen you kill too, but I was AFK for a few rooms as Architraz. Few rooms, he says been in chat for like six minutes of uh, the past hour, probably. <laughs> you should not be frozen. I gotta figure that out. Save that for this weekend. No, 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 no. Well, there's no shroomers in this room. There are some rooms in bullet hell that have them. There's one in particular that is the um, the room with the agonizer in the middle, and then, no, 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 yeah, the, the second wave is the agonizer, and then four enemies, in one in each corner, and the two that are in opposite corners are normal shooters, and the two that are in opposite corners are, um, the other opposite corners, are shroomer shooters. I remember that room. Try to find the gun muncher. I guess we could. The problem, you know, there's a bit of a, a catch-22 with trying to find the gun muncher. You got a lot of empty amp, empty guns. Sweet, how am I gonna find the gun muncher? I don't know, use all the ammo in your guns. I guess I could just run around and get hit a whole bunch. Although that seems to like, be, oh my God, I'm gonna get this phrase wrong. That sounds like it's going to be a little... That sounds like you'll be biting the hand that feeds you. Is that the phrase? Oh my god. It's not like I'm not already taking a bunch of damage in every single room. You know what? We can get blanked. Get blanked. Get blanked! Goody, another key. You know what I would have preferred to have had? Ammo! Although I do also need to remember, don't transmogrify any of the enemies, because I think that doesn't count. I think it does, because I remember, uh... 
interacting with that mechanic once before, transmogrifying enemies and thinking that I uh, would not have had enough shellatan kills, but maybe I did something, I don't know. Hey, uh, you jerk. Sure, elephant gun. Oh, Lord. You know what? Screw this room. That should really just be like my catchphrase in Gungeon and elsewhere. Screw this room. Become a stand-up comedi comedian. Screw this room! Boo, oh, get off the stage! You suck. <laughs> See, no ammo used to find it. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't remember if we got a payout out of this thing recently. Okay, two guns. You munched two guns. We got the Elementaler. Ironic. We would have already had this gun had I actually killed the rat. I can't believe you're affected by cheesing. It's the power of the cheese. Everyone loves a good cheese. Except for this guy, freaking hates it. He's like, I can't move. I'm so full of cheese, I can't move. Oh, the bullets don't even come out of my gun anymore. You know, I think they, uh, they can make a pill for that. Is it a cheese pill? No, wrong color. Surely I have a better gun. <laughs> Let's use our infinite ammo gun. That's why we have it. It's not infinite ammo. I just got rid of the freaking lies. I thought it was junk. I thought it was junk. Well, surely we have a better gun for this. I don't know. I want to use the kiln, which is totally firing pots and not balls of energy. Oh, this will take a million years. <laughs> Actually, we're doing fine. With the Kaga Battle Reload, it's uh, not as bad as it looks. Well, I really want to see how many shroomers we killed. This hunting quest is, this is a meaningful one. A lot more meaningful than, than the damn uh, shell gun unlock. Getting makeshift cannon will be really cool. I don't know what hit me. With the, not only duct tape, just with the uh, items and synergies in general. It's one of the more fun items. One of the more fun guns. You got me. Look, I have not played this run particularly well, nor the last run, nor any run recently, I feel. Might be losing my, my Gungeon touch, but I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm still having fun with the game and that's a victory in and of itself. Good run, we had some pretty good stuff. AK-47 early and a lot of chests. Infinite ammo, uh, betrayer's weapon, which I just completely screwed up trying to get the advanced Dragon Serpent. And no duct tape. Gosh darn it. Well, let's see how many Shroomers we have killed and then end this run. We actually had some like pretty decent weapons and synergies too, but it, just no ammo dropped. After a certain point, like chamber four, no ammo. That always seems to happen in Gungeon. You, you're having a good time, you're using your fun guns, and then you get down to bullet hell, and every once in a while you get one of those runs where you just run out of ammo with like everything. 
23. So we killed seven. I, I remember three. <laughs> so we'll need to kill um, three or four more runs to get that uh, that hunting quest complete. And then we'll get uh, makeshift cannon. And then after that, we got to kill like five dragons. Look, at least that run has a very like strict end date. Either I die and I have to delete my save file and uninstall Gungeon and remove it from my Steam library, or, you know, we'll kill five dragons in five runs. Is there a way you can kill? Yeah, I guess if we had the clone, we could do it in four. <laughs> for now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch. For when I go live, support the channel. Any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.